what we're doing here uh, today is I'm going to show you how we're creating a new uh, and, and hopefully better in-game currency system for use with um, game servers using the Waves wallet okay. and Lightforge system. So when we have a user log into our system, and understand this is a, a white label game server system that you'll be able to take and deploy on your own server. Mm -hmm. uh, it uses our Lightforge technology and the Waves wallet. And basically, it's going to work like this. Okay. You will enter, you'll have every user enter a username and a wallet ID and a password All right. to create an account, right? So okay. we're going to create an account, cat. And that's effectively on the game server. That's correct. Right. Okay. Okay. So now they've created an account. And what it's done is it's linked up that wallet ID with that, that username and password. And the reason this is important is so that on the game server, you could, you can sell, you know, your whatever in-game currency you want. People can buy it, and you basically specify that you want a certain in-game currency to be used in this game. So right. in this case, we've used these Reef coins. That's a, a coin system that we created just for this test. Yep. Okay. And we're going to go username, cat. Now we purchased earlier. We purchased fifty thousand Reef coins. Mm -hmm. for this user. So we're okay. going to enter the password now. And but this could be it. designated as any coin type. This could be um, you know, your own coin for this particular world, this particular server, or this could be for the particular um, game that you're playing. It could be um, for also uh, Lightforge tokens. It could also be for um, Lightforms.cc tokens, any of those tokens. You got it. Right. Anything at all. Okay. Okay, so what, we're, what we've done here is we've created a system where you're able to use these in-game tokens, and users can uh, buy, obviously, things using the in-game tokens. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. But we also created uh, the ability to sell things. So you can sell something. So, if, for example, if you owned this house here, uh, inside it, you could have items for sale, right? Okay. And if you walk in here and you see an item for sale, uh, you could buy it. And this one, this room doesn't have anything, so we'll right. go... Look for another one. And and then you don't even have to be on the server as a user. You can come back to it later. Uh, and when you do, people who bought things from you, well, that money will be in your account. Right, okay. So looking around here, we see uh, they have a magic sword on the wall. Okay, magic so... Magic sword, yay! Yeah, so if I go over here and click it, it's going to ask me if I want to buy it. Well, I can. If I buy it for 50 gold coins, two things are going to happen. It's going to take the 50 out of my account, and it's going to add some money to the other person's account. Now, okay. in this case, we're charging them one coin for a fee. So when we purchase it for 50, it takes 50 out of our account. Mm -hmm. The sword is gone, so we own that sword now. And, and the, uh, uh, the user gets 49 gold tokens. Right. So okay. later, if they want to, they can cash out. They can say, right. I, I, I want this in, uh, you know, whatever other currency they want. And they can specify that. And you'll get an alert when, you, when that happens that uh, a user wants to cash out. And you can have it either automatically transfer the funds to them, or you can have it go through a person first so that a person can verify that in-game they haven't figured out some way to, you know, to, to spam your purchasing system or something like that right. and try to wipe it you out. So you can set limits of rules and then have scripts run against it or, you know, basically it'll send an alert that says, hey, somebody's trying to cash out a billion coins for something that they bought for 50. And it'll have an accounting system effectively that you'll be able to run that stuff against. Absolutely right. Okay. So, all right. So continue on. Okay. So, uh, so this is going to allow them to basically buy and sell things uh, in, in game and mm -hmm. using any tokens that you want, any uh, uh, crypto that you want using the Waves wallet. And uh, that's where we are right now. Now this is uh, this is portable. It, it works across Unity and Unreal. Mm -hmm. It would work on iOS. And it's it's a server side tech mostly. It's going to okay. work on uh, uh, iOS, Android, everything. So you can have a pervasive world. You can have a web app for your um, you know that's that's only just kind of a, a basic interface to your to your account uh, for phones or something like that, and you can mm -hmm. have, obviously, an in-game world. So and this doesn't have to look like this. It can, it can be any it can kind be of in-game. 
Yeah. yeah, it could be anything. So um, this could be used for you know virtual concerts. It could be used for, um, uh, for VR chats. It could be used for augmented reality chats, collectible figures, pretty much anything. Anything, absolutely. Yep. Okay, very cool. All right, so um, that is uh, basically where we're at right now with this component, at least. Um, there's other stuff that's being developed in the background, obviously. And um, we will uh, update you guys uh, very soon with more information. All right, yeah. so if you guys want to check us out, uh, make sure you join the Telegram chat. It's uh, t.me slash lightforms, or visit us on the web at lightforms.cc. And, of course, you can hit us up on Twitter. Uh, just look for Lightforms and you'll find us, or for the Lightforge token, look for that in the Waves platform uh, wallet, and uh, you should see the Lightforge token as one of the Waves tokens that's in the DEX, so you can find us that way as well. All right, uh, thank you very much, Chilton. Um, we'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks, Kat. Bye. All right, bye-bye.